let's go out of here and head over to level 8. I know exactly where level 8 is, so we don't have to look for it. Just have to go over to it. <laughs> Don't get hit! Alright, Rick. Let me sit up a little bit. Oh, my butt hurts. Sitting in this chair for too long. What's in here? It's a secret to everybody! Yeah. Do I have potions? I have potions. I don't need anything. Hmm. I do need more bombs. Ah, oh, dang it. I wish I had... Makes me a little sad. I wish I would have gotten that upgrade for the bombs, but I didn't have enough money when it happened first, so... Oh, well. Alright, I think that's level seven and uh master quest. Or second quest, not master quest. Yay, bombs. Okay. Um, yeah. So what's interesting is that when they first made this game, they were actually struggling to like get everything into the actual memory for the game. And then some guy comes along, solves their issue so well that they like reduce it by more than half, like the size of the game. And so what happened is they're like, hey, why don't we make a second quest? And then just change the locations, everything. So once you beat the game, you could do that, or you could just you know type your name in as Zelda and start the second quest, which is kind of cool. All right, I do love the fact that level eight has this like nice white design to it. Like it's got that like a little creepiness to it because of it. Manhandler, you jerk. Die in one bomb. That's right. All right, dark nuts. Not too worrisome. But the magic sword, they are easy peasy. Okay, get out of here, bubbles. Alright. Uh, no. Well, I'm probably not going to use it anymore. So why not? Alright, I'll grab it. Why not? It is technically a downgrade. Like, the argument is definitely a, a, definitely a downgrade to the magic wand. Because now the magic wand, when you shoot it, it leaves a fire. Um... But that's bad for a couple of different reasons. It means that when you use it up close, it hits the first thing and becomes a fire. And that's bad because then you also take damage. All right, so before I leave this dungeon, I need to get the uh, any key. Gotcha. Uh, the any key just basically is infinite keys. I love the slowdown for this room. Like that room is like infamous for how much slowdown you get from it. Eh. 
get out of here, Bubbles. I don't know why I killed everything in there. This is the room that sucks. <laughs> I'm good. That was good. That was good. I was I impressed myself with that one. All right, this room. I technically don't need to kill anything in this room. I will take those bombs though. I just need to get here to get through. I might be not going in the right direction. It'd be bad if I'm not going in the right direction. Not terribly bad. I can get the Triforce and then come back for the Indie Key. I'm fine with that. You definitely need the Indie Key because when you get to the ninth dungeon, like, there's just a ton of locked rooms. Like, I have six extra keys right now. That's because I just know where things are, kind of. And I've been playing really well. <laughs> Don't need you. Can we go up here? Tenth enemy has the bomb. That's an interesting clue. So the idea of that is that the tenth enemy that you kill in a sequence um, will drop a bomb that's killed with a bomb. Uh, it's a very cryptic crew clue, crew, uh, which no one understood back in the day. At the same time, like a lot of people thought it was like a mistranslation from the Japanese. Like a lot of the clues in this are actually mistranslations from the original Japanese. Because the people who translated didn't know what to talk about. They legit, like, they would legit, like, just get the text and they would translate it. Like, they would not have no context over, like, what it meant. It was like, here, just translate this sentence from Japanese into English and we'll throw it in. But also make sure it fits within a certain amount of characters. Otherwise, we can't use it. That's something that you kind of learn about like Japanese games is that a lot of times when people are playing them for speed runs, like they prefer the Japanese game or the Japanese version because text uh, is technically denser. Like the amount of characters they have because there are so many more characters, information is you know presented in a denser manner, uh, and because of that, like it's just. The game runs faster because there's less text. I mean, it, you, the theory is that it kind of saves like seconds of time, but you know, seconds add up. Hey, Goma. Hey, Blue Goma that takes more than one stupid arrow to the eye. Why? Because they had to make a alternate color version of you, like they do with every. Oh my God! Did you not get hit, or did I hit you and then just not see your reaction? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Kills. Oh, come on. Oh, there it is. Haha. -ha. I'd be like dead center on that. Jeez. Come on. Yep. Come on. Gotcha. Spectacle Rock is an entrance to death. Spectacle Rock is the entrance to the ninth dungeon in the game. Oh, that explains it. I was like, 
I was able to walk up, and I wasn't. Where am I going? I gotta go left. Alright, this is where I started to get confused, because this was later in the games, and I didn't get here nearly as often as I did all the other times. I had all the other places, like, memorized, like, easy. It was level 8 that was always hard. 